we're gonna talk about unicycling up the frozen mountain or doing the undoable. We have here, oh, a fixed camera point. I've been looking for this a damn ghetto tripod for a while and I haven't been able to find it yet. I just found it this morning. We're back. Usually I have to look at the shot a lot, like every half a second to make sure we're not drifting because I'm doing this one all the time, like eh. So I'm constantly like, what's happening in this shot? No more. We're here. Unless I jump off the top, you know, jump off my fence and like elbow it real quick, we're good. I, I ain't doing no jumping off fences anytime soon because I'm sitting in a chair. <laughs> the unbeatable challenge is something that people would tell you exists in life. And there for certain are things you can't live past, like jumping off a cliff maybe. But the deal is... Certain things that people tell you can't be done that can be done. Like, unicycling up a frozen mountain is a thing that I've chosen on purpose. Because I've done it. I've ridden a unicycle, which is a thing I, I'm going to be doing again once I get my unicycles fixed. Up a mountain. It's called Skinner's Butte. It's in my town. It was one of the worst snowstorms we've had in a while. Not like... There's one more recently that's way worse than that, but short of that one, it was the worst. I went up Skinner's Butte in that thing, on, in that thing, all the way to the top on a unicycle. One wheel, a frozen mountain. All right, this is actually this is the stakes here. How many people tell you you could unicycle in the snow on flat, much less up a mountain? It's not the biggest. It's a, it's a butte. It's not the most giant formation of you know geography, but it's a sizable. 500 meters, 400 feet, 500 feet. I don't, I don't exactly know how tall it is. It's sizable. Big enough that most people drive up it, and they don't even mess around with it on the on the snow. People were snowboarding down it, but nobody was unicycling up it because they looked at me like I was insane and I was doing the undoable. And yes, to them, that was the impossible. To them, it was impossible. They can't do that. But they didn't have the prerequisite skills to even think about doing that. I had unicycled from my house in the snow. Up and down many hills. I had unicycled in the snow many times before that. I had the prerequisite skills. I've talked about Frodo's journey. I've talked about the journey to Mount Doom through hell. I'd done my journey through hell. I'd gone to the Mount, the Mount Iwato of Higo and paid homage to Buddha. That allowed me to do these things to people that seemed impossible. There may be a game that can't be beaten. There might be a challenge in your life that seems insurmountable, but that's just because, my friend, you haven't done the things you need to be doing to even court it in the first place. You have not challenged the final boss. You haven't brought the ring to Mount Doom. You haven't paid homage to booty yet. When you do these things, you unlock these things. It's like a prestige class, an old the way Dungeons and Dragons used to be in 3.5. When you unlock stuff, you gotta do stuff. Or it's like a monster encounter. Some monster encounters, you gotta be a certain level to be at before you can get into it, right? So I'm not saying go unicycle up that frozen mountain right now, because that'll damn sure probably break your jaw or everything else on your body. But if you've been unicycling for a decade, you've been doing, you've been getting at it for a while. Yo, man, nobody's ever ready to take the question mark, question mark boss on yet, but if you've been getting out of it, you probably are the best of the best of what you got hanging around, so give it a crack, right? Deuces!